Today's going to be a video on how to make an igniter for maybe a homemade smoke grenade with a, the whole cane O3 potassium nitrate sugar baking soda mixture. Uh, so for this, you can use fuse. That's optional. I have a lot of it and uh, actually we'll say I have too much of it. So uh, I have like nine rolls of 50 feet. So uh, let's get rid of some of it. You're going to want a match striker. You can use one of the small ones, but I'm using a, I prefer larger. So, uh, a key ring is going to be another thing that you must have. Or a paper, cri uh, paper clip. Scissors. You want some matches. Oh, and uh, I'll show you guys how to make the key ring thing real quick for the paper clip. You go like this. It's going to bend it out straight. So if you've got that, and then you're going to take and fold it in a circle, you know what I mean? Twist these, make it more circular shape, blah, 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 twist these ends together, and then bam, there's your little ring. But, uh, this is easier, so I'm going to go with this. Um, I'm going to want some scotch tape, and uh, maybe some electrical tape, uh, that's just if you want it. And, uh, oh, some paper. And one last thing. I have to slide the camera out the Uh, I'm using a knife. You can use, like, scissors or a fire. You're going to want to take about five matches. And, uh, get the green part off your sulfur. So, as you can see, nothing left on that, really. And I'll trash that. I'll say I'm gonna do five, two, three. All right. So like three. Two. <coughs> uh, sorry, guys. Uh. If you hear that down there, it's just my parents talking about wanting to do a bonfire this weekend, and my dad needs to go outside and blow the leaves, which I should probably do for him just cause. My dad does a lot of stuff for me, and uh, help out your parents every chance you get. I know I don't do it enough, but whatever. Well, not quite whatever. But anyway, you know, you know what I mean. All right. So now you have all these little things shaved off. And now we're going to take and cut off about four or five of the heads like this. And then pick that little head tip part off. So, uh, I'm going to get this the icing tool and put it. That went to the table, I mean the paper, and then through my table, so. Do that again. There we go. It's not quite working out. Oh, there it is. So we got one more after this. And one more. I'll just try and cut this with the scissors. There it goes. And, uh... Oh! I forgot. You're going to need a straw and a little bit of toilet paper. Sorry, guys. I completely forgot about that. So, you got your straw. I have a bending one. And you're going to want about an inch and a half of straw. So, uh... Cut that. There you go. And if you have fuse, you can just cut off a few pieces of the fuse. Got your uh, powder up in here, your little bits of black powder. Alright, so we're going to do that. And now you have all these different things that you're going to be putting into your straw. So, take and take a little bit of tissue paper. I mean, uh, toilet paper, tissue, whatever. 
and stuff it in one end like that and the side that you're not going to have your match head sticking up on like this hot glue that in just a little bit if you want to uh... you really don't have to do this i've never done this i'm just going to try it out and see how it turns out put that back up on the little wrap thing move my glue around get it all stuck dry it up All right. So you got that, and now you're just going to stick all your little stuff in here. Uh, you might want to do like the fuse and the big parts of the match heads first, uh, because it will just work out better that way. Take off that and then put in all of our match stuff, stuff on the jigs, stuff that down in. Put some more fuse. All that stuff, stuff that down in. All right. So we got that, and now it's time to take some more tissue, toilet paper, tissue, whatever, paper towel, and plug that up on the other end. So you will now be able to see like some green and black and all different colors in there. And next what we're gonna wanna do is uh the way this up like that. I need to sharpen that knife actually with my sharpening stone. Got that. Next, I'm gonna take some hot glue and uh put it down the side of my match. And stick that. Ow, that was hot. Don't burn yourself, please. So you have that, and you're going to do that all the way around. So make sure you have enough matches to do that. Try not to hot glue the green or red part of your matches, as if you do, you will have quite the fire for a few seconds in your room or your house. I'm also not responsible for anything that you do with this. So if you're making this, planning to blow something or somebody up, I really would not like to be blamed. So I'm just going to say that now. This is for uh, airsoft purposes as in smoke grenade or science project purposes as I'm pretty sure most of you would never take this into school because nowadays schools are very uh... I don't really know quite how to put that so we got it halfway around right now and um... we're going to continue doing that so keep putting your hot glue down in your matches. Alright. So this is it right now and we're gonna keep going. Just gonna spread it all on this and drop down our matches as I go. Tutorials dragging on quite a bit. There actually might have to be a part two for this. Ow! Oh my goodness gracious! All right, finally the last one. We have it put on. There we go. So you got that. And for extra protection, we are going to take some electrical tape. By the way, uh, if you go to Lowe's, you can get a pack of 15 or pack of 10 uh, large rolls of electrical tape for $5.30, which is pretty nice because I go through a lot of electrical tape, and you get these two small rolls from the dollar store for about, I mean from your Dollar General for like $3, $2, $3. 
Alright, so we're gonna trim off all these extra wood parts. So, it's looking great. It really is looking great. So, this is where we're going to take our scotch tape, if I can find some of my scotch tape. Uh, let me stick around for a few seconds. I think I just actually dropped some. Okay, well, maybe I didn't. So, actually, don't use scotch tape. Electrical tape works better because it's not as sticky. So, we're going to take our striker. And we're going to have a piece of electrical tape ready. I'd say about, I don't know, two inches long. Squeeze that around here. Try and wrap it a little bit looser as it will rip your keyring if you don't. So you'll now have that. It's like a little box around this. So as you pull, It'll light this, causing to light everything inside of your tube, and then causing to uh, ignite your mixture that is around the flame. So, uh, yeah, that's really it. You're just going to stick this down inside where you made your hole for a fuse in your thing, your explosive. Uh, thanks for watching. As I said earlier, I am not responsible for anything you do with this. If you're planning to blow somebody up or blow something up, that should not be. Uh, don't try and blame me, as I just stated. So, yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Never forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.